How was everyone feeling? Comment below and let me know. And for those of you who don't know, this channel is called No Trash Tolerated because we don't tolerate no trash. All right, we don't tolerate it. Just why we're checking out some low key. That's why we're checking out some low key. We're also checking out some low key because it's low key. Okay. I mean, I checked out my first abomination reaction. I have the part two. I'm doing some editing, but I'm about to check out Terrorist by Loki. And man, I loved Abomination. Um, I, I'm I'm gonna post some diabolic uh, reactions too, but that's U.S. hip hop. But I've got some UK to get to, man. I miss you guys, bro. I honestly I feel bad when I can't post videos. I really do. I feel bad when I can't get to all that shit you guys want because it's like I like it. And I know you guys like seeing me like it. So it's like, hey, man, that's a, you know, that's a symbiotic relationship, mutually beneficial. So let's go. Uh, we've got Loki, Terrorist. Here we go, man. This is probably, probably some heavy stuff if, if I'm right. Oh, and it was, uh, it was released September 11, 2010. Damn, bro. Yeah, that's a big, it's a big date. Oh, and it's age restricted. Oh, oh, hang on. And it's age restricted. Shit. All right, all right. I heard he got put on a terrorist watch list for this too. I heard he got put on a watch list. I don't know if that's true, but hey, man, we're about to see. Walk from the Middle East, you're a hero. Your country is causing screams that never reach your ear holes. America inflicted a million ground zeros. Dude, I've been listening to the uh, Abomination. A lot honestly I've been listening to it a lot since you guys uh, played that man I like that fucking song but here we go terrorist so we must ask ourselves what is the dictionary definition of terrorism? The systematic use of terror, especially as a means of coercion. But what is terror? According I think I see what he's about to do, man. The systematic use of terror as a means of coercion. That's a very broad definition. I think I see where he might be going with this, dude. Here we go. This is why I like low key because this is a legitimate point, you know? This is legitimate, but let's see. Is terror. According to the dictionary I hold in my hand, terror is violent or destructive acts such as bombing committed by groups in order to intimidate a population or government into granting their demands. So mm. what's a terrorist? They calling me a terrorist Like they don't know who the terror is When they put it on me, I tell them this I'm all about peace and love, peace and love. They calling me a terrorist Like they don't know who the terror is Hang on bro, right away It's all about the peace and love, man No, seriously, I know that sounds cliche I don't give a fuck Alright, this is what I've found in my life personally It's like there's too much division, man. It's like you want to know what I respect in somebody is somebody who tries to understand the other side because you anyone can disagree. Anyone can disagree. It, it takes a real person to be able to find common ground with someone and be like, all right, we might disagree on this, this and this. But we chances are you agree with somebody else on a lot more than you actually disagree on. But for some reason, we as humans like like to focus on these disagreements. It's like we like division, but man, we gotta come together, dude. Fuck all this, fuck all this division, man. Seriously. Seems like the rackheads and packies are worrying your dad But your dad's favorite food is curry and kebab It's mm. funny but it's sad how they make your mommy hurry with her bags Rather read the sun and study all the facts Tell me, what's the bigger threat to human society? Hang on bro, you'd rather read the sun than study all the facts? I'm pretty sure that's a UK uh, publication 
people would rather read a two, three, four minute article on on their Facebook or their Twitter, or whatever, than actually study the facts, dude. This is this is why we've got so much madness going on right now. It's because people don't want to actually study the facts. They want to read an article and be like, oh yeah, look, this makes sense. They presented all the information. They're a news source, you know. I mean, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, you know, everyone's got bias, but you know, this is less biased. It's like, dude. You have to question why they're, like, what is their motivation for presenting you with the news? Man, I could go on for days about this, bro, but people would rather read a, literally, I see, like, three-minute read. Three minutes. Three minutes. Dude, what information are you getting from three minutes of reading some fucking shit that somebody wrote in their pajamas, sipping a fucking matcha tea? I love matcha tea, by the way, but come on, dude. Come on. Thanks, Rod, to read the sun and study all the facts. Tell me, what's the bigger threat to human society? BAE systems or homemade IEDs, remote control drones. BAE systems? I don't know what that is, man. Let me know what BAE systems are. I know what IEDs are, though. Um, what's the bigger threat, though? I wish I knew what BAEs were. BAE systems or homemade IEDs, remote control drones, killing off human lives or man with homemade bomb committing suicide. I know you mm. were terrified when you saw the town was full of soul. Bro, I want to keep pausing it, but hang on. Let's just get through this part here. Homemade bomb committing suicide. I know you were terrified when you saw the town was full of soul. Terror, but some forms are more powerful. It seems nuts. How could there be such agony when more Israelis die from peanut allergies? It's like the definition didn't ever exist. Hang on, dude. He's saying a lot, man. Fuck, dude. He's, he's saying, like, what's the difference between... He's basically saying, what's the difference between the terror, you know, Iraqi people feel or I mean, just name whatever country in the Middle East the U.S. is using drones in at the time, which is nuts to even say. But what's the difference between the terror they feel when like their neighbor or, or their, you know, somebody gets collateral damage, collateral, interesting term, by the way. Um, Like, what's the difference between the terror they f they feel? And the terror, um, the terror of the of the two towers of nine eleven, which he said this. He's like, the the screams, uh, you know, of the people never reach your ear holes. Amer America inflicted a million ground zeros. He said that in abomination. It's like, excuse me, that can't be overlooked, man. You know, I. Look, I was listening to this podcast, and there was this dude, uh, Dakota Meyer. He was a ex special U.S. Special Forces, and I think he was in Pakistan. And he talked about this time where basically he got in a situation where it was like hand-to-hand -hand combat with a uh, with a Pakistani. Uh, I don't think it was a soldier. I want to say it was some kind of terrorist cell or something. Um, but he basically said like he had to kill him with a rock. And when he looked in his eyes, bro, listen to this. When he looked in his eyes, he saw he saw just this look of he knew he was done. He knew he was defeated. And he said at that moment, Dakota Meyer said at that moment he realized like he's this guy is just fighting for his family and his country just like I am. He said there's no difference fundamentally between him fighting against us and us fighting against them. And I, th I thought that was huge, man. Like, this is kind of what it's pointing out. It's like, what's what's the difference, you know? What's the difference, dude? Man, Loki always gets me thinking, bro, and talking. Every time. I guess it's all just dependent who your nemesis is. Hang on, I gotta make sure I'm... Okay, thank God I'm recording the video. All right. Relevant, how eloquent the rhetoric peddler is. They're telling fibs now. Tell us who the terrorist is. They're calling me a terrorist. Like they don't know who the terrorist When they put it on me, I tell them this. I'm all about peace and love. Peace and love. They're calling me a terrorist. Like they don't know who the terrorist Insulting my intelligence. Oh, how these people judge. 
was democracy. My Sadek was democracy. Elende was democracy. Hypocrisy, it bothers me. Call you terrorists if you don't want to be a colony. Refuse to bow down to a policy of robbery. It's terrorism, my lyrics. When more Vietnam vets kill themselves after the war than die in it, this is very basic. Now, I don't know if that's true, dude. But I know Vietnam vets had a very, very high rate of suicide, man. A huge one. But, And that wouldn't surprise me if more Vietnam vets died of suicide afterwards than actually died in the war, man. And that's crazy to think about, dude. But he was saying all these places are democracy. He's saying all these different places are democracy. But the U.S., they weren't friendly to the U.S. per se. So what happened? No, oh, that's that's a regime change, man. That's a, res, a re, regime change. Damn, dude. This dude always gets me thinking, dude. Colony refused to bow down to a policy of robberies, terrorism, my lyrics. When more Vietnam vets killed themselves after the war than died in it. It's and that's another thing, too, is like, e even in the U.S., our veterans are heavy, heavily neglected, man. Heavily neglected, dude. It's it's a real problem, man, and like nobody seems to want to actually actually address that. Like that was a big thing, a uh, big thing with Obama. I mean, John Stewart was was on with uh, he had Obama on, and that was one of his things. Is like like why couldn't we at least get this the like the VA veterans assistance basically? Um, like why couldn't we pass some real legislation in your eight years on this? And Obama said, like, oh, yeah, yeah, that, like, that's probably one of my biggest, uh, you know, regrets that I couldn't get something done on that. Basically a politician answer, but yeah, man. That's not really the point of what he was saying, though. My lyrics, when more Vietnam vets killed themselves after the war than died in it, this is very basic. Also on that, bro, I have to, there's so much here. I, I personally know people who who told me that their grandpa essentially was in Vietnam and they were put on all kinds of drugs, man. They were put on supposedly this is this is just hearsay, but a lot of times you'd be surprised how because they're not publishing this, but they were put on meth, LSD, mushrooms, like all these different things to make them hyper aware and paranoid. And that's one of the suspected things as to why there was such a high rate of suicide. Because he, uh, my friend's grandpa was, was flying, um, I believe he was a pilot. And they were putting him on all kinds of shit. So he'd be hyper aware. He wouldn't get sleepy or tired. Um, yeah, man. Like, it's it's crazy what goes on, dude, that you don't hear about. Vietnam vets killed themselves after the war and died in it. This is very basic. One nation in the world has over a thousand military bases. They say it's religion when clearly it isn't. It's not just Muslims that oppose your imperialism. It's Hugo Chavez, a Muslim. Nah, I didn't think so. It's Castro, a Muslim. Nah, I didn't think so. It's like the definition didn't ever exist. Neither of them were Muslims. Dude, Chavez. First of all, the, the CIA had had tried to take out Chavez before. And there was even talks that the way Chavez died, I'm pretty sure he died of some kind of like cancer. But there was even suspicion that they basically, and believe me, we have the capability to do this. There was suspicion that the CIA essentially poisoned him or exposed him to something that, that gave him this. Granted, you know, that maybe that's a little obscure, but come on, dude. We The CIA, the CIA, dude. And Castro. Castro, I'm pretty sure was actually taken out by a by a CIA uh, operation. I'm pretty sh I'm almost 90% sure that Castro was also taken out by by a CIA operation. Were they Muslim? No. No, they weren't, man, but they weren't friendly to the US and I think that's what he's he's kind of getting at is he's kind of basically calling calling, you know, US foreign policy terrorists. I mean that's kind of what he's saying. Now I don't, I don't. I'm not saying I agree or disagree. I'm just saying it's something to think about, man. Th these are things you got to consider. You know, don't just don't just discount all this. You know, I know a lot of Americans who just 
they're very patriotic and it's like you know i get that you know i I like this country personally for me i personally think it's a great country it has a lot of problems man don't get me wrong but even even like people like i was talking to this turkish guy uh he came over from turkey i want to say like six years ago and he was saying like yeah man like this is one of the and i've heard that from uh immigrants before too from south america from mexico who are like yeah man like if you're willing to work hard here and you know put up with just kind of stuff you might be dealing with wherever your home is anyway if you're willing to work hard this is a great country you know now they could just be saying that because i'm american they could just be saying that but i get a genuine sense from them because you know it's not like i ask them that specifically but they talk about it man they do so but yeah man that's Bro, I, I could be talking all day for this shit, but here we go. The oppose your imperialism is you go chat as a Muslim. Nah, I didn't think so. It's Castro a Muslim. Nah, I didn't, I didn't think, think so. so. It's like the definition didn't never exist. I guess it's all just dependent mm. who your nemesis is. Irrelevant, mm. how relevant the rhetoric peddler is. They're telling fibs now. Tell us who the terrorist is. They're calling me a terrorist. Like they don't know who the terrorist is. When they put it on me, I... Dude, just like he said, man, I have to keep pausing it, dude. I have. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because these are important issues, man. These are really fucking important. It's all just dependent on who your nemesis is, man. That's a huge thing. Just like I was saying earlier with that veteran, man, like he was saying like when he basically had to kill this dude, he was like he looked looked in his eyes and he was like, I ended like I ended the life of a husband of a son, you know, of a father, I ended his life. And it's like a lot of generations, he was saying, on that di- uh, on that day, he thinks about that, like generations on both sides just got ended. You know, it's like we're fighting, we're fighting wars, but it's like, and I've always thought about that. Like what's the difference between, you know, somebody who's an enemy of the U.S., um, like they think about us the same exact way. So it's like – you know, you got to wonder, like, what's how do we reach that point where, like, we see each other as each other? You know, like, we're all humans, bro. We all came from East Africa. Like, that's why I don't like this division at all, man. It's it's dividing conquer in my mind. It's like people are easier to control if they're split in half. You know, if you have 75 percent of a population on the same board, That's dangerous, you know? If you have 50-50, they're both busy fighting each other, you know? That's just logic. Bro, he just mentioned so many fucking things. Holy shit. Let I guess let's just address, try to go one by one, man, because this is a lot, to, lot to get into, dude. And I feel like I have, I have some half decent thoughts on this. Where like I feel like you guys might want to hear my thoughts on this as an American, you know. Terrorism was now no term. I had terrorism. Diego Garcia was terrorism. I am conscious, not conscious with terrorism. Phosphorus that burns hands, that is terrorism. Earth on the stern gang, that was terrorism. What they did in Hiroshima was terrorism. What they did in Fallujah was terrorism. Mandela ANC, that was terrorism. Hang on, dude. All right. First of all, Mandela, I'm pretty sure Mandela was on like a terrorist watch list or like on on like a most wanted list. 
for a long ass time, man. Mandela. Nelson Mandela was on on like some kind of most wanted. I want to say FBI most wanted list for a long ass time, dude. But man, I don't know about the Hiroshima one, man. Hiroshima and Nagasaki, that's a tough one, dude, because I mean, if you look at the time, if you look at the estimates of casualties on the U.S. and Japanese side of what it would take for a mainland assault, that was that far exceeded. It was like at least a million on the U.S. side, and it would have been terrible for, for the Japanese side to do like a mainland old school assault on that island. And they weren't going to give up, man. They were not. I mean, they didn't even give up after the first bomb, dude. They didn't even give up after the first one. And it's like, I'm not even justifying it, dude. I'm just saying, I've wondered about that, you know? Like, how many lives were changed and ended in just a fucking instant, man. In an instant. You know, it's like, is that better than losing three times the amount on both sides? I don't know, man. I don't know, dude, but that's a good question to be asked. IRA. I, oh, Eric Prince, hang on. We got to get to that. Okay, okay, okay. IRA, uh, Irish Republican Army, I want to say it was. Um basically fighting for irish independence that was they're saying that that was terrorism i don't know enough about that to speak on it i honestly don't but man eric prince in blackwater eric Pl eric prince is from michigan my my somebody on on a side of my family is from michigan and they know somebody Basically, someone in my family knows somebody who was childhood friends with Eric Prince. The guy he's mentioning right now, man. And Eric Prince essentially was a private military, owned a private military contracting company that basically provided liability coverage for, for the U.S. in the Middle East. Because what would happen was they would send in private military so they wouldn't have to report like, okay, you know, 10 soldiers got blown up. Well, it wasn't U.S. soldiers. It was private military contractors. Um, and so they, they didn't make the news, right? And plus, there was almost immunity to operate. Like, if you have U.S. soldiers killing civilians, that's that's a war crime. But if you have a private military contractor, it basically takes the liability. And there was a... I forget what's... Uh, what town square it was there was some kind of massacre in the middle east where um i want to say it was iraq but basically there was a massacre where some private military contractors opened fire on a town square and killed like 20 some people and i think like two or three of them ended up like getting some kind of jail time but nobody answered for it like the company changed their name because of it I think it's called like I I now, but like, it's just like fuck, man. Like, it's just a it's just a way around liability, really. But yeah, man, I know some somebody in my family on on either my mom or dad's side. I'm not gonna say too much. Knows somebody who's a very good friend of his, and I mean, I probably shouldn't even be talking about him, man, because he's fucking scary. But yeah, dude, th this is some real shit, dude. Timothy McVeigh, he was an ex US Army demolition specialist. And you blew up the Oklahoma uh, federal um Oklahoma federal building, man, and killed like I forget what it was, but I want to say it was in the hundreds, like three or four hundred. And it was like, man, that's the biggest domestic terrorist attack of all time on the U.S. Um, I say on the U.S. It's a domestic attack. So it's like he was a disgruntled uh, army vet because he didn't like what they were doing. Um, and yeah, man, like I met 
a good friend of mine, he, a friend of his, so a friend of a friend, essentially, he got dishonorably discharged from, from the army because he refused, this was in the early 2000s, uh, early mid 2000s when we had just kind of gone into the Middle East. He got dishonorably discharged because he refused to kill a child. Like that's, that's why he got dishonorably discharged because he refused orders where he basically had to kill a kid. And he was like, he was like, fuck no, I'm not doing this shit. So he got dishonorably discharged and it's like, he's, it's like, these aren't the things you hear about, man. Like you don't hear about this shit, but like you talk to people who have been to war and they're like, man, war is hell. You know, it's only the people who have never experienced real violence who talk about revolution, who talk about war in these like starry eyed, glamorous outtakes or whatever. It's like, like, dude, talk to people who have experienced real violence and they will tell you, you don't want a fucking part of it. All right. Like if you knew what was going on, you wouldn't be about this patriotism. It's not even patriotism, but it's like you wouldn't be about war if you saw it up close like up front you would not it's just a fucking fact man unless if you were like fucking pablo escobar or some some fucking psychopath then you might but the average person hell no they don't want that Ahmed Infidel So you're a terrorist? Yes I am a terrorist What kind of terrorist? A terrifying Terrorist <laughs> Silence! I think this is an American comedian Jeff Dunham I think it's Jeff Dunham Because he does like these puppets or whatever I've never been a fan of Jeff Dunham. I don't know if that's who this is, but like this isn't even funny to me just because it's like a fucking like there's no real thought to this. This is just like a shitty. This is like a shitty comedy sketch where a dude's talking to his own hand like this doesn't show any thought, insight or creativity in my mind like that's. Just this style, I'm not even talking about what he's talking about, which I don't see comedy in it really either, but people laugh at stuff like this, you know? I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but people in America laugh at, and other places laugh at stuff like this. Terrorists. <laughs> Silence! I kill you! Like I said, dude, I know, I know somebody who basically got kicked out of the military because he refused to kill a child in the Middle East. You know, it's like you don't you don't see these pictures he just showed, man. You don't see the pictures of the collateral damage of the soldiers who are literally told fire on these people who are. You don't know if they're actually terrorist connected or whatever. You don't know. And they told soldiers to kill uh, kill children, man. You know? It's like just seeing those pictures, man. It's like... It's fucked, man. And it makes you think, dude. It makes you think. Granted, no matter what, like with a war, you're going to have casualties. But it's like... Is that what this is? Is this just collateral damage? 
Because a lot of it, I don't think it's just collateral damage, man. It's like, like he's saying, is it terror? Exactly. Let your humanity decide, not your fucking prejudice. Fuck your prejudice. Like, dude, look at those pictures and then tell me honestly, without your little prejudice, tell me honestly, is that something you support, man? Because that's what happens in war. They'll do whatever's necessary to win, okay? It's like, no one's prosecuting the U.S. for war crimes. No one's prosecuting China for, for Uyghur Muslims in concentration camps. Like, these powers are too big, and it's like, let your humanity decide. This comes back to it, dude. We're all from East Africa, man. Like, we're getting divided and fighting over all this stuff, and not even in wars. I just mean in general. Like, even in the U.S. right now, man. We're all fighting over nothing, bro. It's like, yeah, man. I could do, I could talk about this for a while, but I think that's the end, man. Yeah. Let your humanity decide, man. That's huge, bro. Let your humanity decide, not your prejudice, man. Because we all have it. Like, we all have our bias, dude. Like, even with sports. Like, sports, we have bias. Like, just our everyday life. We all have bias within us, man. But it's like, are you aware of that? Or are you just operating with it not knowing that you have it? You know, it's important to know that we've all got these ideas, you know? These, these preconceived notions, but hey, dude, this is 32, yeah, this is a record for a, for a reaction video so far, 30, but look, dude, I, with Loki, and talking about that kind of shit, man, like, I have to get into it, dude, I really do, but hey, here we go, man.